of colors that they came out with I think when they just had like six colors or something um, I will tell you this is not beige this is definitely quite pink it's a really nice color but um, not beige pink um, so they come in kind of a neat little package it looks like a martini shaker you have to shake it pretty well to get the pigment to come out um, I might as well just show you this one since I have it already there so it comes out with like a bunch of the product from the sponge applicator um, they have the matte juicy shaker thingies that are just like basically a lip gloss, like a lip oil. And these are similar except they have an actually pretty good pigmented, good, good pigmentation to this liquid lipstick. So at first I was a little skeptical when I bought this first one. This is beige vintage. Um, I was like, oh, well, I had one of these and it's basically just like a lip oil. Um, but this actually has a lot of pigment to it. Um, it does eventually dry down on your lips but it doesn't have the staying power of like a traditional liquid lipstick either it's really nice for um, being nice and comfortable on the lips um, some of the colors go on pretty easily in one swipe like this one really pigmented um, I do find for some of them you really have to shake it a couple times like during application you're gonna see that I like started applying it and then I had to like go and shake it again and apply it again and I sort of left the um, the lip swatch clips long because I wanted to show an accurate representation of how long it took me to get an even application so as much as like these are really nice um, the sponge tip applicator is neat and I, I mean it does give you quite a bit of product if you shake it well um, but sometimes going around the outline of the lips is kind of tricky because you want enough product on there to actually cover your whole lips but if you get too much on there it kind of makes it hard to define the lips so um, they're definitely nice not my favorite formulation of li liquid lipstick I've ever had but um, they're interesting pigmented they had some neat colors so I did get some of the 
newer colors that came out just before Christmas, I think. Um, this one is under brown. I'm just gonna show you guys some swatches on my arm because my arm swatches weren't the best at the end of the video, so that is under brown. Right next to beige vintage. And I'll just swatch the rest of them for you. This next one is one of my favorites. Um, it's called Completely Nut. Interesting names. And see, it's like, you can see from the swatch that you want like a good amount of product on the sponge tip applicator, but the only thing about that is sometimes you have to kind of move it around a little bit to get it to go on your lips evenly. So definitely pigmented, some really nice colors, but um, a little trickier to work with than your typical doe foot applicator. It is a little gimmicky, I think. Um, this is the lightest color. I hope these actually showed up this time. So we got beige vintage is the first swatch and then underbrown is second and then we've got completely nut and this one is called new delhi instead of new delhi <laughs> new delhi and i don't know some of these newer ones i feel like i had to shake them a little bit longer to get them to actually settle down into the into the sponge tip so um, I actually store them like this I keep them like a little cosmetic bag because I have so many liquid lipsticks just to keep track of like the brands and the types I just put them in their own bags but I keep it like this because I find then it's easier to get the pigment out but that's a really pretty pinky nude nude deli you can see that's a second and then we've got abric cadabra they're all like Punny names, um, which is fine by me. Abracadabra, and that's like a brick orangey red. Um, that's kind of nice too because Abracadabra is uh, got the undertone, those orange undertones, and it doesn't turn pink. Sometimes, like, you can get lipsticks and they think they're going to be like a nudie terracotta or like a reddish brown but then the undertone is sort of pinky um which brings me to our next one which is good Redolution. i think that's supposed to be good resolution this is one of the ones where from the swatches like online which is basically just a picture of the container I thought this was going to be more of a ready brown, but it's definitely more of like a burgundy with a pink undertone. It's really nice. It's just, it's not as orangey as I thought. So I was a little disappointed when I first swatched it, but that's just because I bought it online and I didn't really know exactly what color it was. So it's not the color's fault. And then this last one you are going to see in the video. It gave me some trouble. It's called the Royal Brown. And I thought online as well that this one was gonna be, that this one was gonna be a little bit more of a, like a reddy brown, but it's more just like a brown brown. I think um, it's a neat color, and I actually think it's gonna look nice on a lot of skin tones. Um, the only problem was I found this one was hard to work with. It was patchy. You'll see in the video, like I outline my lips, and it's sort of like I try to put more on to build up the color, and it just didn't work. Um, but once I like patted it down, it sort of like left a stain that I was okay with, but um, this one was the trickiest color to work with, I would say, and that's the Royal Brown. So the Royal Brown, I really hope you can see the swatches. <laughs> Good Redolution, Abricadabra, uh, New Nude Deli. Completely nut, under brown, and beige vintage, which is not beige. So um, lip swatches are either going to be at the beginning, because I wasn't sure if me talking would make it worse, but I might show them at the beginning or I might show them at the end. I haven't figured it out yet. Um, I'll probably cut out what I just said. Um, yeah, so for the lip swatches, um, you'll just kind of see, it takes a little bit a little bit of effort to get them to actually go on but once they're on they're really comfortable it's a really like thin formula it's just I think it's more the applicator that makes it a little tricky to define your lips um some people might want to use a lip liner I definitely 
didn't want to do that in the video because I felt like I wanted to give you an accurate representation of just using the product by itself. But they have a ton of colors. I think it's like, oh geez, I think it's like 40 colors or something more, something like that. They have a gray, they have um, so many colors. So I'm sure you can find something you'd like. Um, it's $28 Canadian, so it's up there. I think the amount of product, sorry, I should have looked it up before. It'll be in the description bar. I'm just gonna see if I can actually see. Oh, um, no, uh, sorry. I can't tell how much it says, but I will put it in the description bar. Um, anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching again, and there's the swatches, and lip swatches are coming right up. Thanks.